that come down to us from the period we study, the main problem that they all suffer from is that they're just too damn long. Um, <laughs> so here is a summary for you of perhaps the greatest play ever written in English. I will do it for you in about three minutes, so we could call it a three-minute omelet. <laughs> there was a king nodding in his garden all alane when his brother in his ear poured a little bit of henbane, stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow. Then the dead king walked and got his son and said, now listen, kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius. Kill him quick and clean and tell the nation what a fraud he is. The kid says, right, I'll do it, but I'll have to play it crafty so that no one will suspect me. I'll kid on that I'm a dafty. So for all except Horatio, and he counts him as a friend. Hamlet, that's the kid. He kids on, he's round the bend, and because he's not yet willing for obligatory killing, he tries to make his uncle think he's tough and soft as willing. Takes a rise out of Polonius, treats poor Ophelia vile, tells Rosencrantz who did it, he's the Denmark's flooded vile. <laughs> tell a truth with traveling actors in 784, arrived to do a special one night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting balmy, Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mommy, Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating. He wonders if the goat is fake, and that is why he's waiting. So Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact. So Horatio and him could watch to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the king walked out before the scene was through. So Hamlet's got the proof his uncle gave his dad the dose. The only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows. So while Hamlet tells his mother her new husband's not a fit man, Uncle Claude takes out a contract with the English king as fit man. Then when Hamlet kills Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti is the king's excuse to send for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make what sure he got there. But Hamlet jumped the boat and put the finger straight on that hair. When the Yardies heard his dad's killed in the bedroom of the heiress, he comes running back to Elsinore to sweet hot foot from Paris. When Ophelia heard her dad's killed by the man she was to marry, after saying it with flowers, she committed very carry. Hamlet, Hamlet. No messin', Hamlet, Hamlet, learn his lesson, Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust. Convinced him all good men and bad at last was come to dust. Then Laertes lost his wounds, demanding retribution, and the king says, keep your head and I'll supply you a solution. The king arranged a sword fight for the interested parties, with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes. And to make double sure that old belt embraces wine, he takes up a poison sword dip in a poison cup of wine. The poison sword got Hamlet, but Laertes went and fluffed it because he got stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffed it. Now Hamlet's mummy drank the wine as as her face turned blue. Hamlet said, I think this king's a baddie through and through. The incestuous stutter is damned, Dane, he said to be precise. Then made up for hesitating once by killing Claudius twice. For he stabbed him with the sword and forced the wine between his lips, and then he said, the rest is silence, and he cashed in all his chips. They fired a volley over him, which shook the topmost rafter, and now forged in brass, the deep in Danes lives happily ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story, Hamlet. Hamlet, very gory, Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm on my way, and if you thought that was confusing, you should read the bloody play. <laughs> <laughs>